This is about how to ollie. There's a million videos out there how to ollie, but this one's about how to ollie as high as possible. And throughout this tutorial, not only will you kind of like learn how to ollie, I guess, but it's, it's actually a focused one. Being able to ollie as high as you can jump. Because every skater can ollie really, really high. They just don't understand the technique behind it. A great example of that is like the highest ollie, the world record for a long time was Danny Wainwright. And he's like, he's like a taller kind of guy. I think he's like six foot or something like that. But then it was broken by someone who was significantly shorter than him. Both Louis Tolentino and the dude who rode for Pal, whose name I can't remember, both broke the record and they're shorter than me. Uh, another skater who is significantly short, but he's famous for how high he can pop, the Tiago, and he has a technique down and he's also shorter than me. So I'm gonna go over a little bit about that technique. And this technique can be applied to every single trick. It can be 180s, kick flips, heel flips. It's the same thing. This is how to get everything higher. So to break it down as simple as possible, I'm gonna go over this real quick. The way the ollie was invented was someone, I forget his name, Mullen or something. He was here and then he shifted to his nose and he noticed that the in-between there's like a little bit of air and then there's some pool air stuff too and that doesn't matter. But a lot of people kind of treat their ollies like that. They snap their tail and they slide their foot up and that makes it level out, which means that your maximum ollie, if you're stuck in this zone or even this zone, it's because you're not doing the thing that a lot of people don't talk about. And that is when you snap your ollie, you are jumping off your back foot. You are doing a one footed jump. And what you do when you snap that one footed jump is you take your front foot and hook it to bring it up with you. So you should actually be jumping harder off your back foot. It's not just some light tap, slide your foot up and level it out. That's gonna keep you right here. But if you snap your tail and you spring off of this foot, your back foot a lot of times will come off a little bit. That's fine. You need to push slide up and then level it out. And that's something that you can practice just by snapping really hard and not trying to land it. Just by like showing how high you can go. Like you can like snap hard and like that little bit right there, even though the board wasn't under me, physically, you know, you could keep your feet on it. And another thing to think about when you go to snap your tail is you're not flat footed on the tail. Like a lot of beginner ollies are like flat footed because that's where it's comfortable. But when you're a little bit like your heel's a little bit off and it's like a little tippy toe-ish, not full tippy toe, like you're not ballerina dancing on it, but like a little tippy toe-ish. When you go to snap down, like having like that much less of your foot when you like give into it just gives you a little bit more snap. So now using that information right there, I'm gonna do a couple of ollies and then we're gonna go to the next level of other techniques. So that is basically my maximum ollie that I can do by just bringing my legs straight up to my chest. So like sort of a, like a cannonball into the water type of motion. And I'm not very flexible. So it, that's definitely not the way for me to get my maximum ollie, but it is a good way to get used to the snapping technique. Cause if you start focus on the other stuff that I'm gonna be teaching you, it's just like a golf swing. It's just like a whole lot of stuff to think about and it just gets confusing. The next way to get higher is if you're gonna go over something, this is like a super excellent technique. Like if I'm using that ollie, and I'm like, I can't believe I just gave it over there. Like I'm doing the alley over there. That'd be sick if I just like edited it in. Uh, and you're trying to get over something like this. And like, let's say this is my maximum alley. Like you'd think that you wouldn't be able to get over it, but you actually can if it's not long enough because you can do this like a tweaking thing where you ollie and you just bone it out over it. And that's gonna let you get over more stuff easier. And the way to understand the tweak, and this is how I learned it. I learned it in a parking garage. Like I would like pick a spot on my foot and I would think to myself, this part of my foot needs to touch the board. And in just getting that part of your foot to touch the board, it sort of forces your front foot to tweak down a little bit. But the main thing that you wanna focus on is inside of your front foot, try to make that touch the board and the outside of your back foot, try to make that touch the board. So if you're regular, and these are your feet, you want that. And if you're goofy, and these are your feet, you want that. Think like ninja kick, think like Liu Kang. Not the kick, but the kick, if that makes any sense. Probably not, I know Haley doesn't get it because she's not. I get it, I play Mortal Kombat. Did you, Who? what yeah. character would you use? What? And what's good about that is when you bring your legs up, as, as silly as this is gonna look, uh, if, you, if my maxed out squat ollie is here, well, if I tweak my legs to the side, that, it, this is how it works. I this know, is, it's just dirty on the ground. You gotta get dirty if you wanna get better, Haley. Uh, I watched in person at Tampa, Louis Tolentino tie the world record. When he was hitting the bar that he was trying to ollie over for the world record, his board wasn't hitting it, his butt was. We're kinda, uh -huh. like, kinda like in front, but also in front. So that way and that way. 
yeah. uh, that way like he could kind of almost get under his board. It looks crazy, but if you think of these things while you try to ollie, I think it's gonna make it a little bit easier to get your feet up. So did the first couple that started to tweak. This is what I did. I would focus on ollieing, making my feet like this foot this way, this foot this way, and nose diving my board into the ground. Make sure your front truck hits the ground before your back truck. So you're gonna go something slight like that. Nothing too gnarly. You don't have to go like super tweaky, but the more you do that, a little accidental alley north for you right there. The easier it's gonna be to like touch that, like the fox tape, which is what surrounds the edge of your shoe. Inside fox tape, outside fox tape. Make those touch the board. Once you get that concept, then it's gonna be easier because you can have more time in the air the harder you snap. So if you take what you learned from the first section of this and add it to what you learned from the second section of this, basically, hopefully this won't be terrible and it'll look something like this. I think you popped out a frame. Damn straight I did. And definitely use like the, get your front truck over it and then tweak it down to get your back truck over. Which is as simple as like making yourself, when you ollie, focus on making your front foot lower than your back foot. Once you ollie and you're in the air, you need to get this foot lower than your back foot and that just let, your, let yourself nose dive. And after a while, you can get enough hang time where you can do that dive into the ground and then bring it back. And you can smack your tail if you want or just land off four at the same time. Cause like my first two colleagues, like I said, they were very much like, but now like, you know, I'll smack my tail. So a lot of emphasis on getting the board to your front foot. Snap your back foot, you want the board on your front foot, and then with the gravity of the board on your front foot, you push it up. And then you just kind of tweak it down and it'll smack to your back foot. Slow-mo ollies actually look pretty ugly almost all the time. Like if I try to ollie without my back foot leaving at all, oh. first, I gotta, first I gotta get on my board. Uh, yeah, I'm probably not gonna do it. That's hard. The other cool thing about understanding both the squat and the tweak is for grabs. So the squat is good for tuck knees because you're like here. If you're out here and you go to grab, it's gonna be more of like a like an indie nose bone thing. It's like a different trick or it's good for like tail grabs. So like tweaking this way is like good for tails. It's good for melons. Nose grabs. <laughs> the squatty one is, you know, it's good for stale fishes. It's good for, well actually nose grab is the other one, which we're gonna talk a little bit about that right now. And that's, the other ollie that no one really teaches. And that's like the tweaking your feet the opposite way. Fox tape as in this fox tape and this fox tape, which is the ollie that you need for wallies, railies, uh, when people do like lean airs, this sort of one. And if you learn how to tweak it against your knee, that also looks kind of cool. Um, so what you do for that one is actually kind of counterintuitive. You're gonna snap your ollie. This is also how like Mark Gonzalez has a lot of dollies. You snap your ollie, and then when you bring this foot down, not as or you actually just kind of like roll your ankle into it and never bring it back to this. Like, so when you normally ollie, it's like, it's like this, this, but now you just go like this, but you push it down with this, and then you take your back foot, and your back foot just goes like this. And it gives you this like weird ollie technique, uh, tuck knee thing where you're gonna bring this knee in towards the board. And uh, when I first started figuring these out, I would just do little ones like this. And it's not really a trick, but that movement has a lot of value later in skating. That's really hard stationary. Uh, and then you could use these different tweaks for just different variations of the grab. So like if I do a crail grab, I just like normally grab it. I think that's one of the most hideous grabs ever. Like when someone's like in the air and they're grabbing crail, but if you use that goofy little tweak the wrong way, even if you do it low, I just think it looks so much cooler. Like just like that, you kind of lean into it and you just. So I would definitely suggest having some sort of goal, like I talk about in my manual tutorial, where you like have a string or something and you keep like bringing it up more and more. And I think a lot of skaters never find their max ollie. I know I definitely have it. I'm getting older now to where like, I think my, my, my weeks are limited to actually ollie as high as I possibly can, but I've ollied up some pretty high stuff. I've kick flipped up a six there before. I got some pop. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go over this bench and I'm just gonna do the different ollies.
So definitely in order of easiest to hardest, tweaking an ollie to get over something a thousand times easier, the level one harder, and then doing the weird tweaky ollie, that's really hard to like get up over something. If you wally into it, it kind of shoves it into your legs a little bit easier to make your like knee closer, but yeah, that's, that's definitely an awkward one. Well, I use that exact same technique for all tricks when I want to go higher. So like, let's say if I want to do a kickflip, I really do think jump off my back foot harder, make it stick to my front foot better, and then flick through the board. So like for the longest time, my kick flips were like, you know, just like maxed out right there. Cause I was just focusing on technique. But once I learned that like, I really am springing from my back foot, it just helps it get like a little bit higher. Another quick thing to think about is when you're alling into grinds and slides and stuff like that, that is one of the few times that you want to minimize the board coming off your back foot because sometimes if your board comes off your back foot and you catch it onto a ledge, your foot might end up over here or over here. Honestly, I try to like, when I jump on a, a round bar, it's going downstairs or something like that. I do think I'm keeping my back foot closer to home base more so than if I was uh, just kind of just doing a flat ground ollie or ollieing over something tall. That's more of like a, Kind of the concepts of how to get your ollies higher i usually don't explain like the vivid detail of like you need to slide your foot from this exact point to this exact point because you can watch those clips in slow-mo and see what my body is doing and i don't want to waste your time explaining those small movements instead of explaining where your body weight needs to be because like when i snap snap a good ollie and you want to jump off your back foot you already know that you're going to be back here and then up there you know you're jumping from your back foot to both feet so that's naturally like a the motion of an ollie. I feel yeah. like galloping. You kind of are galloping, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, basically all the things that I think of and that helped me get like my ollies a lot higher. Uh, hopefully it helps you.